Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Hello, Kate. It's Michael Rovno. And yes, this video message is to celebrate you for your sweet 16. I imagine that you look out at the world at 16 and it seems like a puzzle. And I'm sure Dr. Rubik's thought about that when he designed the Rubik's Cube. Thousands, in fact, probably millions of combinations to try to figure out and get it solved. But I'm sure if you believed in your own magic, you'll figure it out. Even just the thought of doing that can fill you with wonder. As I explore different turns and twists, I begin to see that it really isn't that confusing. I mean, it still looks pretty mixed up, but all the things that Diane's been surprising you with, making it filled with wonder, I bet we could probably even solve it in about one second. <laughs> That's pretty quick. So more than just being able to solve a difficult puzzle, I thought I might be able to fill you with a little bit of wonder with a song and a magic effect with a deck of cards. A very, very simple packet requires just a silk inside to keep it safe. Very pretty, blue and white. And we're going to actually add the silk to keep it safe inside the box. Couldn't be any more simple. Fair? Good. Then we'll have a card selected. And we'll leave the box right here in my shirt pocket so it'll be viewed and not out of frame. Let me just tilt the camera a little bit here so you can see. There we go. The cards are different. Different, 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 different. But we'll make sure they're mixed. And the prediction that I have back on the table, the white, uh, the white card there with the blue handkerchief, is not half bad. I'll tell you what that means in just a moment. So let's see, a special cut for you to the uh, 21. <laughs> a nice bonus, yes? We'll weave the backs of the cards, mix them up. Good mix. Okay. Judy's nearby too. And uh, Judy, if you would please, from your right there. How about just uh, if I riffle through the cards, wherever you like, can you call out stop, please? Stop. Great. Okay, I'll stop right there. That, that a good spot, or should I go a little further? That's good. Okay. Break it at this spot. I'm going to make sure that I can't see, but I'm going to show the camera. So let me just see where that, that card that you stopped here. I'm going to turn away so I can't see the card. I'll show the camera. Okay. Lose it back in the deck. Now we'll find it in a very, very magical way with a couple surprises. One of them is Jeff McBride is here by, uh, by proxy. His little prediction card is here, which I'll show you in just a moment. And also that single card that looks like an ace of spades. No, actually to me, now that I look at it, it looks like an ace of diamonds. Oh, you lit up when I said diamonds. Maybe that's because, Kate, you are a diamond in the rough. Okay. So let me find your card in a magical way by also having the background of a song. 
Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into my imagination. We'll begin with a spin traveling in the world of my creation. What we'll see will defy explanation. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. There is no land I know to compare with your imagination. Living there, you'll be free if you truly wish to be. If you want to view paradise, simply look around and view it. Anything you want to do it. Want to change the world? There's nothing to it. There is no land I know to compare with your imagination. Living there, you'll be free if you truly wish to be. Was this the right card? Well, of course. Remember I said the prediction wouldn't be half bad? Isn't half of 16, 8? <laughs> Happy birthday, Kate. By the way, I mentioned that Jeff McBride would be thinking about you by proxy. See? Even the little card that's been there since the very beginning that has Jeff McBride's magic. Isn't that weird that he must have known that you'd pick an eight? Okay, that's just really strange. But wait, wait, even better. The, the handkerchief that was on my jacket that we put in the box, right, that was just a simple little white and blue handkerchief. It's still there, but it looks like because the magic that we're celebrating and sharing you is uh, changed somehow. I think actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's actually got diamonds on it now. See, I know that you may not be getting an actual diamond, but think about it. You've just experienced one for your sweet 16. Kate, Judy and me, we want to make sure that you know we're thinking about you, that we're sending you magical thoughts, and that we hope that you have the most wondrous, special, surprising, and magical 16th birthday. From Happy, Judy. Happy sweet 16, Kate. We, Kate, we're thinking of you. Happy birthday. May it be magical. <laughs>